What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick review of the first nine episodes for Star Wars Visions streaming on Disney+. Plus. So I had a chance to get through them, they were actually all pretty short, like sub 30 minutes, so a pretty easy and fast watch. Um, so overall I want to say that, I'll, or I'll start it off with, you don't need to watch the episodes in the order they're released. So you can watch the first one last, the third one seventh, the eighth one second, and stuff like that. There's no um, generally tying storyline between these nine episodes. So if one stands out to watch versus another, you can definitely do that. So for this review, I'm going to share or review the two episodes that I think stand out the most for me um, in that it it's going to be the first episode in the um, listing on the Disney Plus app and then the last episode. Um, there was an episode in the middle called The Last Jedi which was okay. I didn't think anything good or bad about it. But when you watch that, as far as compared to the first episode called The Duel, they I kind of like the, um, the animation style of The Duel because it re uh, reminded me a lot of Hidden Fortress. But the story in um, The Last Jedi rounded out what we saw or the story in the duel so they kind of it kind of augmented the story but the animation on its own for the last jedi was okay so as far as the duel goes it's basically you can basically see how it draws its inspiration from hidden fortress of which star wars initially drew its um or some of its um inspirations from to begin with so when you're watching the or when you're watching um the duel i you'll definitely get that good that look and feel it's a very much a samurai story set in um feudal japan so definitely my favorite of all of the stories um and then as far as my other favorite episode i liked akakiri the ninth episode just because it was very reminiscent of um, the Anakin and Padme story, but done in a more the more Japanese anime manga style. So, in gen I don't know which one I like more, but I definitely that's kind of why it resonated with me because you get that story, you get the whole idea of, of family um, siblings separated by their political views. So, um, in general, a very good story there. As far as the rest of the episodes, they were not necessarily good or bad, but they're more along the lines of a. They're, they felt more anime and like young, like child anime storylines and artworks and all of that. So it wasn't really anything that resonated with me. You kind of do get um, the look and feel and their inspirations from various other Star Wars elements. Like there was one with a robot and getting trained which then our inter interactions reminded me a lot of uh, Luke and Obi-Wan from Empire Strikes Back so in general when you are watching the, um, the all the various episodes there are going to be some that you like more than you like others so they appeal generally to a broad range of um, people so like I said, for me, the ones that resonated were those ones I mentioned, um, The Duel, The Last Jedi, and Aki Kari. Um, and then all the other ones kind of felt a lot more along the lines of being set up for younger audiences. But it made me want to have a Star Wars series, kind of like What If, where you have an overarching narrator, and they're called, for example, The Guardian of the Wills which chronicle the various events in the Star Wars history all the way back from, for example, the rise of the um, Old Republic, the rise of the um, Jedi and Sith and their force using ways, that um, the schism that happened between the Jedi and the Sith, the um, Jedi and Sith War, or the other, I guess better otherwise known as the Jedi Civil War, the rise of Darth Bane, basically all the various key elements in the Star Wars universe or the key events in the Star Wars universe, but presented in this episodic for a format and it can be, you know, a 15 minute story or a 15 minute zero. So one five versus five zero. So whatever amount of time it takes for them to tell the story, 
and kind of sum it up just so you get a visual representation of those events. Um, I wouldn't mind them doing a story arc either because it, you know, there might be stories that take more time than others. So for example, if they decide to do the Thrawn trilogy and in this style and format, but with the overarching narrator, that would be fine too. Or, you know, or basically that's really about it. And I wouldn't mind, for example, Chirut and Bose being the narrators of the story or even like co-narrators and they kind of argue in the way they argue so that we get a more fun overarching look at it. But when they present the story, it's generally well presented. So basically the Star Wars version of what if, but not necessarily an alternate reality, just a basic history of the Star Wars universe, some of those, all those major events, and even go as far back as um, the time of Knights of the Old Republic and tell the story of Revan and um, Malik. And, you know, like I said, you can take 30 minutes or you can take an hour, whatever amount of time it takes to um, tell each story. Spend that amount of time and basically start from, you know, the start of the Star Wars universe and go forward or even do a topical like a season or topic per season. So, for example, do the Old Republic and tell some of those key stories and then talk about the Jedi and their stories, the Sith and their stories and go forward from there. So that's why I kind of feel like maybe just a general season by season take a look over, you know, a number of years at a time would probably be best. But that's kind of what Star Wars Visions did for me and uh, what options are available as far as storytelling in the Star Wars universe going forward. So that's all there is for that. Um, so looking online, it looks so as of right now, as of this recording, there are nine episodes out. I don't know if they're going to have more episodes going forward. Um, or how many episodes they're going to have in total. I thought it was nine, but um, if they are going to have more, I wouldn't mind having that, especially since they there were some stories that they left kind of up in the air. So if they're um, going to, um, you know, round out the stories or have a couple of episodes where they round out the ones that they left kind of in a cliffhanger or maybe around, tie in all the stories into one um, episode, then that would be fine as well. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, on what your favorite episode was, what you liked, disliked, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can support the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01 or get all subscription links and um, past episodes and all of that good stuff on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode and until next time.